Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mud Pack. This episode we're going to do some more boats. In fact, what we're going to do is look at two part aspects of that that we didn't cover last time. The first one is going to be um, golden tickets and the other one is going to be automatic unloading and loading. So let's get started. So as you see it's winter and we've got one of these map devices here and then we can put into this map a golden ticket like that. And then we can add into this some points. So here we've got waypoint one and I can edit that and I can actually call this one point one like that uh, and confirm that. And then we can add another one which will go at the end of it of the list and edit this one like this and we can call this um, point two uh, and confirm that. And now those two points are actually here. There's point two and point one is just somewhere very close actually here. So the boat is going to travel between these two points. So let's put it down here, for example. And what did I set it up to being? I set it up to being one way path. OK. So we've got the golden ticket in there. Now what we want to do is make a copy of this a golden ticket, first of all. So let's do that. Let's put the golden ticket in a crafting grid. We can do it on our own. You'll see this has got two waypoints and this has got none. So when we put that in here, now we've got two with two waypoints like that. So they're identical, as you can see, this stack. So let's put this one back in here like this and says so it's going to loop round it by itself and let's put let's build the boat the boat's dead easy it's just a it's just a boat hole down like this and then we want to put uh, into that a helm and an engine so let's put down the engine first make sure that the is unlocked oops <laughs> actually that's probably not a good idea let's lock it up <laughs> uh, and then let's shut it's a bit dark for some reason don't ask me why so let's come over here now we put into this um, helm which it needs for the for the place for the ticket and it also needs an icebreaker because it's as you can see it's ice so let's put that down there like that now it's actually trying to break it's trying to break stuff so let's see what it was trying to do then because it should be going to these two points so now what we need to do is put this golden ticket into the helm slot here and it'll start traveling and if i put it in nice but it, the shift click doesn't work so this time it's going to go, so all we now need to do is unlock the motor. So it's going to try and break this, obviously it's not going to be able to break this block that's in the way, but we can knock it out of the way. And then it's going to turn and it's going to go over there and it's going to break this. Now, with the um, icebreaker block, it doesn't work but well on diagonals, so it works fine like this, as you can see. It's going in a sort of reasonable straight line towards that one there. I say reasonable. But it actually needs to be a straight line. So what did I say on this one? I wanted it one way path, okay. Now let's go and put down a third let's go and edit this map now and put in a third point. So let's go over here somewhere. Big jump. And put down a third point. It doesn't matter where we do it. Let's put it down here, for example. I'll just put in oh not vision. <laughs> actually night vision wouldn't be too bad. So I want to, I want point zero three. We'll just specify that and save that. So this is now point sorry, this is now point zero three. Get out of the ice again, of course. Into the ice. Now the boat's gone over there and it stopped over there, yeah. So now let's add into this or if we go to the bottom one and click insert, it puts it at the bottom of here. Then we can edit this one. And can then we can put click point three here and then it's going to put that and it's going to confirm it. So now this one-way path is going to go over there. So it should go over there like that. It has. Now, what I thought was expecting, when I clicked this reverse path, I was expecting to go back from point three to point two to back to point one. But it doesn't happen that way. It starts to come over here. Now this is where it should may get stuck. I'm not sure. Let's go and have a check. We might have to help it. Um... Now this is interesting because last time I did this, like uh, yesterday, it wasn't behaving like this. It was behaving slightly differently. Ah yes, see that block didn't get broken, but it's actually working. What it was doing is it was breaking the blocks in front of it here, and so it wasn't breaking the blocks at the side and the sides here. Now it's working. So well, that's strange. I haven't changed anything. <laughs> So that's how it's going to work. So it's going to come back over here to go to back to point one again. And it's going to struggle off back to point two. So sometimes you don't want it to behave like that. 
you'd actually like it to travel back again. So let's edit this now. Let's add another point in here, like this. So we're going to change this one, and we're going to edit this one, and we're going to make this now point 2. So it's going to go back to point 2. And of course, then it'll come back to point 1 at the end of it, because it always comes back to point 1. So that's how golden tickets work. And you see I'm editing this one. So now it's going to trundle off over here, and come to this point 3 again, as you can see. And instead of coming back to me now, it's going to go back over there, and it's going to go back to point 2. As you can see, it's got to break some more ice. You'll fly up and have a look at it more carefully. So this time it has got stuck because it's not really breaking this ice block here. So we have to free it. So this is one of the things that you'll find that if you are doing this in winter time, the best thing to do is to make sure that the points are perpendicular. So they're going northwest. So, or no sorry they're going north south or east west but not going northwest to southeast for example you see now it's actually behaving differently it's now breaking these three blocks in front of it and three blocks in front of that so that's where it failed to to do behave properly anyway doesn't matter let's now change this again to being one way so it's going to come back and it's going to stay here this time, I think. In fact, it should actually end up going to point two, because point two is the last point on this on this thing here. So we'll add another one. I'll put point one at the end of that one. Confirm that. So it's going to go over there. Uh, you see, in the engine, I've got it with a daylight sensor. I don't have to fill it up with any filter fuel and it will just carry on regardless of what it's going to do. So this time, let me turn off night vision again, don't need night vision. It's going to go back over there and it's going to finish the cycle when it comes back to point one again, which is going to be here. So let's see it do that first of all. And obviously as it's winter, it's freezing up fairly quickly as well. So it makes things go a lot slower. So what we're going to look at now is a much more complicated path. There's a few mobs around here for some reason or other. Now it should turn off when it comes to this point, point one, like that. Now it's stopped, as you see. So we can leave that that like that. In fact, we can actually take this boat with us, which we're going to do like this. I've got my jetpack on for some reason or other. Let's break it up. And you get all your bits back again. But if you break this one, now it'll actually lose this golden ticket. We don't want to lose the golden ticket. Well, maybe we do actually. Um, we'll break this up. Anyway, you don't need a tool for that. You can use anything. No tool. And it's got no breaking stuff. So let's now go back over here where I've set up an area where we can oh, so fly. Fly. Where I've set up a path along this along this river here, starting at this point over here. So we're starting here, and it's going to go and do a cycle, and it's going to cycle over here. It's going to get out of the water a bit and go down that. So have a look at this. So there should be a, and we've got some hoppers in here as well. In fact, this is the important hopper here which will unload items so it's got nothing in it because it's feeding into this one here so we've got some wood we've got some bones some rotting flesh and some arrows now it's empty so now we're going to put this i'm not sure which way it's going to work actually let's, have, let's come along here i wonder if i can reuse this golden ticket so here i've got you see lots of points down here i've got around about 15 points to go down and another 15 points to come back again but instead of having exactly the same points on the return I've, I've got two extra points on the return and we'll have a look at those in a second and then it comes to the unloading point so it finishes unloading and you'll also see here i've got um, a speed decrease going down here in fact this one is i probably don't need to turn this one down at all so let's just edit this one and turn off the speed boost on this one does not to slow it down so it should travel at full speed in fact what well, it does unfortunately go back up 
up to the top every time you make a change it doesn't stay in the view you've got but that's not so important so we take this ticket out of here and I'm not sure what's going to happen if I put these two in my crafting goods so we'll put this one in first where did that disappear to five waypoints yeah that's right that's the other one <laughs> oh, that didn't take it out okay this one's got 31 waypoints in it let's try that again so now I put this one and this one together what do we get here nothing so I need a blank uh, a blank um, golden ticket now I wonder if I can make a blank golden ticket by deleting all the points in here for example so if I just click remove it doesn't automatically update the removes either so we can go down here and remove now you come out of that and you right click it again oh so actually still got two let's remove those ones right click it I still got another one remove that now what's up so now it's empty so maybe we can zero waypoints so maybe we can actually then use this one let's just try that so I've got my 31 waypoints here and I've got this zero waypoints here and it doesn't work okay so you have to you have to get a brand new golden ticket for that to actually work you see that those are now got both of those have got no waypoints on so you can't do it that way okay I learned something new so let's put this in into here like that and let's build a ship I need to go and get another one I'll come back in a second with a, a new golden ticket so now I've got my new gold, no, golden ticket and you see it's got no UUID on this one this one's so we can put those two in here like this and then we then it will duplicate so we'll actually have a second one second copy of this like that we can then put one of those into here like this and then we can put down the boat again and get it to work for this one let's put down the boat so again I'm going to do exactly the same thing on it again so we need a helm right clicking it on the boat uh, and we need a, a daylight sensor to give it an engine which is just a it's just a motor just a day just a solar engine basically and then we need an icebreaker like that and then this is almost ready to go so what we'll then do is we'll click this one and we'll put into here the golden ticket like that with 31 waypoints on like that so now it's ready to go it's actually being held up here and it's being held up by this lever oddly enough because this lever is activating this block and then it's preventing this going now in here we've got nothing to load so let's just put in some say six rotting flesh into that let's put nine arrows in there as well so you can see we've got six rotting flesh into nine arrows and then we can this was then turned on as you can see i've got a comparator in here which is then going through a bit of automated redstone back into this block here and activating this so now i'm going to turn it off so this then should be loading up and if I've got this set up right, let's double check. Yeah, I've got it looping to itself. So it should now, ah, oh, but of course it's night time. <laughs> Tell you what, quick sleep, I'll come back in a second. Right, now it's daytime. Let's just turn this on again. Uh, I think I've got this right. <laughs> it's not moving as it happens, but it's got power in here. Oh, of course, yeah, it's not locked. So now it's going to go in here, and these items are going to, should, drop it into this boat here. Of course, it's not going to work because I haven't put a chest in it. It's got no storage. Let's go and get some storage first of all. <laughs> well, that was a tough thing. So I've got a, I've got um, an oak chest in here. That'll do. That's, that'll do for storage. And let's put the storage down onto the boat. Now it should start to unload. There you go. And then it'll go off and it'll do its little round trip. So that then turns this off and then the boat goes. As you can see, it goes a little bit chaotic. Let's go and follow it. And it actually travels fairly fast, as you can see. It's actually quite hard even to keep up with these max jet boots on here. So now the points are, as you can see, it's going to go through this ice. It's quite jumpy, as you can also see. But it's going to pro progress its way out of here. Because because this is um, still water, it freezes, whereas the river water doesn't freeze. That's also something to be uh, taken into account when you're doing this stuff. And obviously, rivers are a lot more complicated to navigate 
uh, you need a lot more points for doing that so I've got to basically come out of here like this as you can see it's not too bad now it's um that one froze up almost straight away and it's going to go out as you can see it's going to follow this path down here it's going to come along here and here's the other boat coming back again as it happens because I've now got two boats and this boat here if we go down and have a look at this one get close enough to it which I can't now we can have a look see this has got actually got nothing in its crate so it's going to go and pick up stuff when it's going to meet I don't know how these are going to pass each other we shall see they don't take the same line exactly as you come over here this one is definitely not taking the same line as the other one this one when it comes back is always another block further below now whether that's deliberate I'm not sure but of course they're going to help each other now going past here like that unfortunately it doesn't go through the same path in a way it would be nice if they did <laughs> so right, I'm going back to base and I'll see you there because it will wait for these boats to come back to base right here we come this is the first boat back so let's go and give this boat something to to, to pick up so let's come into here and give it some bones I think that was some, maybe some wood planks. So what it's got in, it's, it's going to come along here now and it's going to drop those items into this chest here, underneath here. So it's going to come along here and if there's anything to drop off, it would turn that on. And there isn't. And it's just gone past that because of the block of ice here. Because I just broke, oh, that was not smart. <laughs> so it missed out. So let's just put the dirt back into there. Um, building, pack, mining, pack, digging pack is the one I want. That's that block of dirt, which I put in here. Uh, I think I did that because it didn't basically. Let's just break this out of the way now. So when the next one comes back, you see that it's now on. So I shall wait here until the other one comes back. I'll see you in a few seconds. Right, the two boats coming back at the same time. That's interesting. And I'm not sure what's going to happen now because I've never done this before. So we shall find out. So one of these boats has got something in it and the other one's empty. So let's have a look here. So I'm not sure which one's full and which one's empty. So one's going to come along here and it's got nothing in it. That's fine. And this one's got something in it. So it's now going to unload that. And as soon as it's unloaded, it should come out of here like this and go through to this one. This will actually, because it's got nothing in this now, because the other one took all the stuff, it's got nothing. It's going to go and trundle off. So I'm just going to have a quick sleep and we'll have a look what's actually in the thing. Uh, in a second so now we should have something in in here of course because it's a bit difficult let me just get out of the water so in this in this one here we've actually got some jack-o-lanterns i'm not sure how where are they oh must have been in the other boat some rotting flesh and some arrows so now let's this time let's go and put something more back into here something else into here like this so for example let's putting the rotting flesh and the jack-o-lanterns so the first boat's going to pick up those and next one as soon as it comes in we'll put in the, the arrows so as you can see in fact i suspect you don't need to see any more of that particular boats and their progression i think we've covered everything so it works now the reason i didn't build this in front of you so to speak is because it's actually slightly complicated i don't know why this one's not illuminated I think it should be. They are the right way around. But you can actually turn them around with the, with the pneumatic wrench here. So for instance, like that would be the wrong way around. And that is the right way around because they've got the same shape. If you look on these ones here. In fact, I think they didn't light up either, did they? Because they've got um, the whole row. If I use the lever on that, it does actually work. But if I, if I do that, it doesn't show in this box. I'm not quite sure I understand what's what's happening there, but that's the way it works. And the so the block it is actually unloading in this case was the block in front of the barrier here, and the block it was loading in is the block on the barrier. So that's why it was a bit tricky to set it up. As you can see, I've got one hopper here which is exactly on the front of the boat where the boat stops. But when it was unloading, it was unloading at the back of those two, I think. Um, it's actually easy enough to tell, we could easily do that. We could break this one here, if I can get anywhere near it, of course, cause, cause you get, because of the water flowing, it makes life a bit difficult. Let's just break that one. 
So then I got this hopper. Now let's put this hopper, instead of putting it against the other one, let's just put it against the wall here. Like that. So then when the two boats come back, it's going to go into one of these two, and you'll know which one it's actually been unloaded into. So I shall wait, and we'll see that in a second. See you in a minute. Right, here they are again, third time round. So this time we're going to be prepared and get some stuff ready to load into this one. I'm not sure which one's going to take the first stuff, but we'll see. So I'll just give them something to take with them. We'll just put in stone and some arrows in there, nothing special. You see they're going slower as they're coming to here, so they've got a little bit more control. So that one's actually got stuff to unload, as you can see. And it's waiting for this one. So now it's going to load up this stuff. This one hasn't got anything to load into there. So now let's push this one into that. Oh, too late, too slow. <laughs> it's gone off anyway. So now we're going to just find that last thing, whether or not it actually did, which of these two it did drop the stuff in. So this one this is the first one. So that's got three bones and some uh, wooden planks. And this one's empty. So it did unload it on the second point. So that was just before this. And this is just a comparator linking to these red water, waterborne redstone conductors, which basically act like um, they're not really relays, because I think if they were relays, they would have a. They do actually represent the the distance of the, the value of um, the redstone signal power. Well, that's it for this episode. Uh, the intention of doing this was I was trying to think. I'm being want to set up a train journey, a train, a railroad from here to the jungle base, but I want to go through the ocean in order to do that. So that's what the purpose is of this. Next episode, we're going to have a look at do some slime tree farming automation. And we're also going to have a look at maybe the following episode or the same episode, some Steve carts. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.